This isn't going to be a really long message, but it's going to be a message to hopefully encourage you for the ones that are seeing the signs at the times. I give many videos on here, and a lot of people take away the credit. You know, whether a video is fake or real, the fact of the matter is we are living in a predominant time. And in Matthew 24, verse 13, this is about patience. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. I pray that we can have some endurance. 1 Peter 4, 7 is about the second coming and rest. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. So, we know many people... Like Proverbs 14.12 says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You know, some of the pictures I'm going to show up on the screen are, this is just this year alone that we've been seeing these weird cloud formations, these weird signs in the sky and Yes, man's playing a part to this, and, you know, we've revealed CERN many times. They have eight points. There's eight points around this circle of the LHC, and this stuff opens up portals and gateways. We've done many videos on this. We've seen these weird storm cloud formations that are, of course, from man. Man has created a lot of these things. But the fact of the matter is, I think a lot of people are also not taking into account that God has appointed these times to happen and man is playing a part with this. After all, we give image to the beast. After all, the humans are the ones that worship the beast. So many people are denying these signs that we are seeing. This is perfectly, uh, perfect biblical proof that we are living in the end times because the Bible said this would happen. If the Bible was fake, like a lot of people say, then why is it everything that is in the Bible is taking place? See, we need to endure until the end, my brothers and sisters. We need to keep on pushing through. In Ephesians 6.18, it says, Pray always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. My brothers and sisters, do not grow weary in this. We know that the Lord Himself tells us in Revelation 1.8, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I really think that we're going to see something. I'm not making a prophecy. I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not doing anything like this, so I won't have to repent if anything happens. I'm just saying this eclipse happening on the Jewish Passover is a very predominant sign and we've already went over a video on that. It was a very uh, watched video. A lot of people were edified by it. But we need to not fall into the ways of these foolish. Look, a fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it until afterwards. This is Proverbs 29, verse 11. I'm going to show a few more videos on the screen. This is just the month of January. These are some things that we've shown on the channel that have continued to happen, and these are a few more of the biblical signs. And then there's going to be a short little clip from a 50-long-minute video that I put on our Rumble, which you can go to the links and go to it, about CERN, holes in heaven, CERN and HARP, how they're shooting holes into the heavens. And this is exactly what we see taking place in today's world.
The Earth is more unstable now. It wobbles more than it used to. The atmosphere is speeding up and the Earth is slowing down. The Earth's core is getting hotter. The magnetic north is changing. The sun is more active and older than we once thought. Everything is more unpredictable. And humans seem always willing to push things to the limit. So once again, the Lord tells us, do not be weary. Do not be troubled. When you see these things happen, know that we are in those end times. My brothers and sisters, many people we know are going to fall away. Many people we know are going to continue to live in the ways of the world. I gave a message on my telegram to say that sometimes I feel like Moses. But we need to be humble and not get so discouraged and mad at the stiff-neckedness of this world to where we strike the rock twice. A lot of times we feel like we're casting our pearls onto swine. But remember Jonah. Jonah wanted the city of Nineveh destroyed. He wanted God to kill him. But God reminded him that you were to go and preach the message I have given. So much love and may God bless you.